Hello everyone, so I hope you're doing well. So today we're going to see how you can build this awesome page view or tab view or whatever you can say. This over here. So we have uh, three items on the tab view as you can see over here on the line 18, 19 and 20. So these are the tab item and as you can see I can swipe left or right to see the different um, items. And there is a beautiful dot indicator on the bottom so that user understand that there are three items over here and the first one is the active item. So if I swipe over to the next item, the indicator gets automatically updated with the new one. So let's see how it happens. All right, so I have removed everything over here and uh, I have the color scheme set to dark and uh, you can actually uh, set this over here by clicking this button over here and uh, set the color screen to light, dark or inherited. Inherited means that uh, it will be automatically set when the user uh, sets the color scheme to dark mode or light mode. So uh, currently we're going to work with the dark mode but your code will work with light mode as well. So uh, let's just um, design the whole thing, then we'll see how everything is actually work. So let's first make the uh, uh, card so that uh, we can actually dynamically generate the item on the tab view. So um, let's first wrap this inside a V stack and as you can see that uh, there are uh, no changes and uh, you can actually uh, make this like coding with Imran. So it gets automatically updated and if you uh, click on the uh, item, so it will highlight what uh, area it is actually taking. So um, at first I'm gonna create a struct struct um, uh, let us name it sample tab view item so it will be of type view and it's gonna contain some view over here and let's just uh, copy this code over here Um, okay, so uh, sometimes uh, Xcode shows that there are some errors, so uh, just press command B or go over to the product, then B, build, and uh, your errors might go away like uh, this time. So uh, you have to resume, uh, that's because we have created another struct for this, and uh, there will be no changes inside the uh, screen so we're gonna use this view over here let's call that and now if we change something over here let's random something and it will get updated so that means that this is actually uh, working from the tab view sample okay so uh, our uh, card will have uh, some properties so uh, for example it, there will be a string so let's just set the default value to coding with run and there will be another uh, subtitle of type string uh, let's set this uh, i don't know learn on the go and um it's of the image to string as well, but it really uh, depends on how you're uh, trying to, uh, you know, portray the or render the image inside your uh, application. So you might as well use image type, but currently I'm using string. Um, there are uh, there is also a, a logo, which will be of type uh, string as well. So uh, let's set the default value to logo react and so 
so these are actually coming from my assets so uh, you can use these assets uh, it really up to you how you're uh, organizing and how uh, which uh, images you're using okay so let's um, use title and it's gonna use the default value because we didn't really actually put the uh, set the value for the title so let's do this um, font to uh, title and the font weight to bold uh, one thing is that you can actually use bold over here but I'm not gonna use that it's really up to you as I said earlier um, so let's uh, do the subtitle as well so learn on the go and let's uh, set the alignment to leading like uh, so that uh, the C and L is aligned to the left hand side so it will be inside the uh, V stack sorry about that so uh, right now you can see that the C and L is actually uh, left aligned all right so we don't want this learn on the go the subtitle on the uh, title so uh, Let's just say that it will be not caption, it's a call out. All right, and we don't want bold as well. So there was an uh, image on top of this, which is coming from over here. So let's use uh, image. Okay, we don't really want the uh, quotation. So our image is taking a little bit <laughs> too much size. So let's first uh, use resizable and uh, let's set the aspect ratio to fit and let's set the frame height to 200 or maybe 220 it's up to you. Okay, 220 is looking uh, pretty good. Um, so what we uh, want right now is that we want to uh, render a logo uh, on the right hand side of this uh, subtitle and uh, there is not enough spaces uh, in between the items inside the v stack so let's uh, set the spacing to uh, 8 so uh, right now there are some spaces available in between the items on the v stack all right um so let's wrap this subtitle inside of eight stack and that means it's gonna render uh, items on the uh, horizontal axis so it will be um okay it will be of type logo and let's um to make this um image over here so let zoom so let's uh, to move this uh, logo image on the right hand side we're gonna use a spacer in between the item so right now you're seeing that uh, the whole thing is actually going to the left and the right hand side so to fix this um, at first let's just uh, define what is the uh, height of this Frame. so it should be of around 350 and uh, there should be some padding on the horizontal axis and let's set this 24 it's now looking uh, pretty good I suppose so um, we want a background type of thing over here so let's put some background and we're gonna use a rounded rectangle so corner radius dot continuous and dot fill and inside the fill function we're going to use ultra thin material okay so uh, after the uh, background that means uh, on this uh, rounded rectangle uh, we're going to set another padding so this should be uh, horizontal 30 or maybe 24 like uh, before 
so our uh, designing the card is finished so if i zoom this to 75 percent i think you'll better understand it so let's uh, stop this and go to uh, light color scheme so on the light color scheme you're uh, saying that the rounded rectangle is not clearly visible so ultra thin ultra okay so i, I made a mistake over here it should be ultra thin material so uh, the how this ultra thin material uh, content is actually working is that it is kind of work like a transparent uh, uh, content so it's gonna portray uh, what is uh, I don't know before or on the back side of this uh, ultra thin material content so uh, we didn't actually set any kind of uh, background image or color uh, so let's wrap this inside Z stack and you'll see what I'm talking about so for testing purpose let's say that there is a color dot red and let's set that so uh, you're currently seeing that uh, the ultra thin material uh, card is kind of like acting as a, a background blur type of thing so we're not going to use a color so we're going to use uh, one of our uh, images so let's uh, use this and it should be resizable and it's going to uh, ignore the safe area okay so uh, it's looking far more better on the if there is a soft color on the back side of this rounded rectangle so let's uh, stop this and set the color scheme to dark again let's play this again so uh, so you're seeing that um, it's looking pretty good right um, so what about the uh, you know the swipe effect that is the page view or tab view so I'm currently I'm, I'm actually mentioning page view uh, that's because uh, I do flatter and that's why most of the time I will be talking about page view but it's tab view in uh, swift ui so let's wrap this inside uh, tab view at first so inside this let's make this and there should be some more items and uh, the style should be H so uh, our work is like literally done so that is what your uh, that is what you want left and right hand side so what about the dynamic uh, you know the uh, card or round or rectangle making so if we pass the parameter over here and you'll see that okay so i don't uh, really want the first one it's going to use the default value so that you can understand how these things are actually working so uh, let's use learn swift ui beautiful apps so let's use illustration 2 then the logo should be oh, let's take what is the logo so it is uh, logo swift ui so it's not an image it should be a uh, string type all right so let's uh, indent this fellow so let's copy this thing over here and uh, let's rename this to designing uh, Adobe XD 
UI, UX design. And I made this, let's put a different image. Um, so let's check the name again. Uh, logo XT. Okay, so if we uh, swipe to the uh, next, so you're seeing that there are dynamic content available over here. And that's how you make a tab view. That's it for today. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Most of you are not subscribed to my channel. It will be really helpful for me if you subscribe to my channel and it will grow my content as well. Thank you so much.